Me? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yes. The minute you said that, I had goosebumps from head to toe. You know that, right? The minute you said that, I had goosebumps from head to toe. Okay, I've actually seen you on the other stairs, and I don't think you've ever gone to do that. I don't hear footsteps over here. Oh my god, I just seen something in the corner of my eye. It was a little girl standing up here looking at me. Well, replay that. I'm gonna record your phone with my phone. There's something in there. Oh my gosh. But the weirdest thing is I even hit record. I just had the camera going and you've seen it. it like <laughs> Did you see that? You know, I seen the same thing and that's why I turned the freaking phone up that way when I come through there. Like most kids growing up, I experienced unexplained things that I was too afraid to talk about. As I got older, I kept ignoring those things as they kept getting stronger. Fast forward to 2019, I experienced a life-changing situation that I would never forget. Consulting with some of the most amazing professionals in the field, I have learned how to control and adapt to some of the most amazing experiences in my life. Hi, my name is Tommy. Through the years, I ran into individuals with the same situations, growing up the same exact ways, and experiencing the same exact things. We decided to get together to perform a group where we can explore the unexplained. Please join us as we explore the unexplained. This is Finding Paranormal. Good evening tonight. We are in Circleville, Ohio at the Great Kreitz Octagon House. The Great Kreitz Octagon House in Circleville, Ohio started construction by George Gregg, who was a banker that also raised purebred Devol cattle in 1855. The beautiful home was completed in early 1856. Mr. Gregg's decision to build an octagon farmhouse was based on two things. His memory of the octagon courthouse built in 1813, which sat in the center of the circle and destroyed in 1840. In Orsel Folder's book, A Home for All, suggested the oct octagon design was healthy and full of light. The home measures approximately 70 feet across and includes a nearly 7 feet overhang on the roof. The first floor ceilings are 14 feet high. Each room has a fireplace on the inner wall and opposite doorway leading to a, an outdoor venadera that encircles the house. The octagon house has a graceful floating spiral staircasing which leads to an 8 sided glass cupola from which Greg could survey activities on his farm. Some have called it the spine of the house as the house was built around it. Currently, the 26 step spiral staircase can be viewed by visitors, but because of the move and not enough fundings until the stairs are restored, they will not be able to be used. The second floor has eight bedrooms. The upstairs ceilings slope from 12 feet on the inner wall to 8 feet on the outside wall. Each bedroom door opens to the circular hallway surrounding the spiral staircasing and has a closet. Every room except one is connected to which have been Mr. Craig's office because it leads up to the cupola. The cupola is the crown glory of the house and allowed the family to see every direction for miles around the house. In 1920, M.M. M. Kreitz purchased the farm 
which remained in the family until 2001, when an organization called Roundtown Conservancy, RTC, acquired the house to preserve it and save it from being destroyed. In 2004, the home had to be removed and was moved by RTC in orders to keep a huge retail from tearing it down because they had bought the land for development of a retail store called Walmart, taking its original home. RTC is working with Heritage Architectural Associations out of West Virginia to help guide and the registrations. Since the move of the home, aerial businesses, residents, history buffs across the country, myself and my team, as well as another paranormal team joined forces with donations and conducting events in order to raise money to help preserve the registration of the Octagon House. I personally got involved in the early part of 2022 to mow and take care of the grounds of the Octagon House. Even though there has never been reports of any deaths inside the Octagon House through the years, several reports from eyewitnesses and paranormal investigators that has investigated the Octagon House found unexplained situations that has happened inside the Octagon House. Situations like shadow figures, footsteps, to intelligent responses that was unexplained. Join myself and my team on a different and unique investigation as we join forces with another truly amazing paranormal team and some special guests that has asked to join us as we investigate the Great Kreitz Octagon House in Circleville, Ohio. This has been an awesome investigation with truly amazing evidence. So please watch carefully and listen very carefully. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. There's a man. Yes. The minute you said that, I had goosebumps from head to toe. 
You know that, right? Huh? The minute you said that, I had goosebumps from head to toe. Okay, I actually didn't see you on the cutter stairs, kind of, and I don't even know how I knew that. Um, I, I'm aware of that, and what's wild? Kevin, you remember the room that Mike got that shadow figure coming out of the wall? Yeah. That was the room. Oh, really? Yes. That's the one where I got into about how he edited it. That's the room with the wall with the blue wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. You see him like standing up doing this. You see him on the wall doing this and stuff like that. That was cool. It don't, guys, it don't feel good up here. I'm not alone. I've got goosebumps like crazy up here. I am not alone. Yes. Because I just got it in my head. I don't want to pee. Maybe pee to go over that. Why are we bouncing off each other? Footsteps into my left. In that room I just came out of where the man was behind me. He's up here with me. Windows moving up here, guys. What? The window, the loose window is moving. Oh, from the wind? Yes, yeah, something's touched on the top of my head. You know what? I might try it. I don't hear footsteps over here. Oh my god, I just seen something in the corner of my eye. It was a little girl standing up here looking at me. That was creepy. That was creepy, guys. Remember my left shoulder? The room where the staircasing is? Mm -hmm. She was looking over my left shoulder, looking right at me at this door frame. Should we try that it knock? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna initially walk around this way so I can show you guys on camera. 
There's someone up here with me. Can you finish the statement, please? Oh, I'll wait till he comes back. Well, you want to do the knocking thing too, right? Yeah. Yeah, just give us a minute. Well, I want to make sure I got you guys on camera so that way it shows that you guys are got all three hundred pounds of me, big guy. Okay. All right, you guys ready for the knock? I let Hunter sit down. Yeah, let him sit down for a minute. I'm hoping this window don't freaking bang. What's the odds of that, right? No, I won't either. There's somebody up here with me. Can you finish this statement, please? I got. I picked up something and said, that ain't going to work no more. That was the window. That was the window? That was the window. I've got a male figure say that it's not going to work no more. Let me try this. Let me try it down here. Window's right on. Can you finish this? Window. Yeah, but that window just started rattling after you did the knock thing. What's the coincidence of that? Point in case. It, it is very heavy up here. I bet you they use that window because it's easy to manipulate. It doesn't take a lot of energy. It is very, very heavy up here. Man, it's... I'm gonna walk back over this way so I can see the window. And we'll see if it stops. No, it's moving. Yeah, it don't feel right up here, guys. It's like very, very heavy. Yeah. It's very, very heavy. It's almost like enough to take the energy from you. Whoa. Are you guys moving? Something was just walking behind me.
there was something walking right behind me when I came down the steps. So, you want to tell me how the hell I thought you was going to puke and that there was a man behind you at that very second? That was a laugh. Did you hear that? There was also like this weird I know, I'm talking. When you said that, they were laughing. So what's the odds of that response? There's the window. There's the window. We gotta secure that window. How is the screws in it? How are we gonna do it? From Maybe. outside, put some screws in it. Is it? But if it's pushing. It's it comes against the wood. Can we put like cardboard in the frames? It's only bolted at the bottom. There's only screws in the bottom. Really? Yeah. Well, why would they do that? I think it came loose initially. I'll tell you what though, this camera is getting some really, really, really good feed. But right when I was about to walk down the stairs, why did I hear footsteps right behind me like someone's right on my heels? We heard him. Unless that was you. No. Well, I mean, at least I don't remember doing anything like that. I mean... That window. Footsteps. That's cool. My gibble's got a tripod on the bottom. Look, it's the tripod's standing up on the gibble and it's got to cool. shoot. It's got to shoot straight up. I can see the hole opening. There's a walk-in going on up here. I'm hearing it going away. It's right above us. Thank uh -huh. 
think it's starting to calm down a little bit. I think it's in the room a little bit trapped. Yeah. I think it's calmed down a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like lighter, don't it? No, it's everywhere. It feels lighter right here. Who? You. Four? Yeah. Okay. How much more? No, you're good. I swear to God, I'm the water here. Something just leaned over the top of the railing up there. You know, I seen the same thing, and that's why I turned the freaking phone up that way when I come through there. That's crazy. Why are we. It's so crazy. Why are we reading each other for? I could do that. No. <laughs> she might be going nuts because I ain't home yet. It's so weird though. <clears throat> yep. It's like very, very quiet. Yeah. You know, she's going through that window now. Yeah, you notice that, right? Window stop. Mm -hmm. What's the odds of that? Yesterday, today is a very good day for fat people. Is it that Tuesday? Today's Friday. Today's Friday. They brought the Mexican pizza back. Window's moving. You spoke too soon. It's responding to you. Kevin, it's you that they like, fat man. Why are you going to call me fat man, Bruce Rumbles? <laughs> um, excuse me, thick thighs, sick lives. That's right. Gee, she went Did there, didn't she? <laughs> she went there, didn't she? I'm a... Uh, I'm actually... What hey, it's, it's more cushion for the pushing, right? That's right. That's right. I'm actually what you call hot. What happens to the material when it gets hot? It expands. So I consider myself hot. I don't give a fuck what anybody else says. Are you uh, on fire? I'm on fire. Big Daddy? Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the 
dude, this thing is freaking sick, man. I You can call me, not only you can call me daddy, but you can call me big daddy. Big daddy. No, I couldn't even do that because she lived down the street. <coughs> she got a big daddy from Cincinnati. I'm like, no, you're from Cincinnati. Yeah, I'm glad I did Hey, that. screaming. Yeah. I just heard screaming. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I did too. That came from the kitchen. There's moving behind me. Yeah, that's not right here. Airplane. From a distance, something like it's like, oh, 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 Where do you get his two hundred dollars at? Two hundred, three hundred. Where do you get the price at? I'm just guessing. You're just guessing, cause I didn't tell you the price. No. You're good. But that room, straight ahead of me, behind this wooden beam, there was something moving right there, and I think the phone got it. down the steps. The lady, the woman, she was pregnant. Oh, she fell down the steps. And that's how she lost the baby. Really? Look at my arm. Look at the goosebumps. She fell down the steps, that's how she lost the baby. Look at the hairs. Oh my God. This is getting a good. <laughs> oh. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I just heard her say, grab the, because sometimes if I grab something, I can get an image. She, I heard her say, grab the railing. And I got, and I got a little girl that fell on the steps. Remember? When we first walked in here. Because when I first came here, I don't know if you were here, but I, Josh was the tour guide. And I looked at him and it was just like, it was, it was, it was again it, during the flashlight tour, so you was in that room. And I looked at him and I said, Has somebody died in here? Because I could hear a baby crying. And he's like, Well, technically I'm not supposed to say anything, but the lady had a baby. She fell on the steps. The woman fell on the steps. While she was pregnant. And that's what so led that's her. why I'm picking up the baby. That's what led to her having the baby early, which then included it was a miscarriage. Ended up being a miscarriage. She had brown hair, and her hair is pulled up, but there's like ringlets, like really tight ringlets in her hair. And you mean like curls? Yeah. There's movement behind me. Yeah, what you call them that? Woman's fun. Oh, the shadow figure. Yeah. Yeah. So I said it looked like tight curls. Yeah, curls. And Jim said the, the woman he seen behind Mike had curly hair. Yes. It was her. It's the lady. The lady. The lady of the house. And she was pregnant. I wonder how she died. Um, there's someone behind Kevin. In that door there. 
I just seen peeking around the corner on this phone. Walking upstairs. I feel like she is the screen. Alright, it's gonna flash. I'm at 35 minutes recording on this. Believe that? Oh, yeah. Who's out of here? That's a window. That was a woman's voice I just heard. She's hollering for Abigail. Abigail, come here. Like she's running after Abigail. Who's Abigail? The little girl. The lady's name is Sarah. That's why I said when I pan my phone around to you, because I got you guys on film, because she's talking and I wanted to get some of it. There's a male figure behind you. And I am sweating like crazy. Why? Are you guys sweating? That was my strap, sorry. There's footsteps in the south room. Surely have a shit talker on your team, don't you? Yeah, okay. but that is cool. I'll tell you what, man. This this thing does a phenomenal job with this phone. When I say your age, can you light up the wire for me? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Mr. Greg, is that you? It's Tommy. Is this the little girl still? Perfect. Awesome. I love it. Okay. So we're going to try your age again, okay? I want to make sure I get your age correct. So when I say your age, I want you to light up anything you want. Just let me know. Okay. Is that cool with you? 
Can you write it up and let me know that it's cool? No? Yes? We're going to do it anyways. Should I start with six? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Again, oh. 13 on the dot. 13. On the dot. 13 twice now. That is amazing, dude. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. I don't know. I relate to kids pretty easy because I think that, it's because mine's so young. I've got two young ones too. 10 and 11. Well, hello there. 13 is a cool age. I don't, I don't remember 13. Is your name Sarah? I got an orb. If right name, when I asked that. If your name is Sarah, can you light up one of these devices for me, please? Hit just me hitting the wall. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Sarah, welcome. So Sarah is 13. Sarah, did you used to live? Oh, oh, oh nice. Nice. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, that is some, uh, that's, that, that's good uh, response there. Mr. Ford, how you doing today, sir? Good. This place is... Oh, yeah. I heard somebody over that's not that big. Yeah. You're walking, you right? About, like, yeah. 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 Like ours, no. Hold on. Hold on. At our location, like... It's the exact opposite. At our location, they want the doors open. open. Here, they want them hey, closed. Hey, did I come in the day and that store was closed? Yes. And we always keep it open? Yeah, yeah, that door was halfway closed. So, so here, they, we have two different types of And locations. we've had that issues upstairs with several doors being closed when we come in. They closed. When they were open. Yeah. They were open, yeah. open. Oh, is this making it? This making yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. He reads buildings. Hold on. What, what was that? It's pointed over here. I saw something right here. I I thought I seen something too. Yeah. And I didn't. <laughs> I just looked back and I saw it for like out of the corner of my eye. So um, this was the service, um, the um, service entrance. So his workers or whatever would come through here. Somebody could just. Did you just hear that footstep? I heard something behind me. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not like somebody like I saw something like right here. Okay. He's something like there's something there. So is this the way to build an Yeah. Yes. Okay. Kind of like my building. That's why I grabbed the camcorder because I I just just in case we get something is getting active. I'm literally giving you a bunch of energy to use in the building right now. You should know me by now. <laughs> yeah. Marcus. I know, yeah. I slept in the car all the way here. As I usually do. <laughs> so, in modern times, this was the bathroom, believe it or not. Right here? Yes. Okay. Um, Did it have like a shower? It had, had a bathtub, like right where that big hole is. Yeah. Um, I can't remember where the sink and the commode was. Uh, I don't know if the Well, there's a hole here in the yeah. ground. Yeah. So that's probably where it would be. Yeah. So, bath, shower would be right here yeah. in the quarters, thank you. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the last. Occupants of the house um, was in 1998. So this literally from 1998 till now has been abandoned. Has We've been had abandoned. 32, it, actually 33 years, basically of it just not being correct. Lived yeah. in. Correct. Done. You guys are 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 doing your best to yeah. bring it to where it was. Yes. Exactly. So you yeah. literally have 33 years that you have to bring back in. You have time. Yeah. But. I, I, that's really yeah, awesome, you guys. Uh, that we don't know. Have any documentations of deaths? Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you know. Ready? If because you said you moved it mm -hmm. from over by Walmart. Yep. Well, in theory, you literally brought whatever attached to that 
oh, property, there. Oh, the right, land. Here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And we believe it's in the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's not a bad thing, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. Um, this used to be open yeah. um, um, because obviously when it turned into a bathroom, they yeah. closed off. And we have the original French doors. Yeah. See, I feel this as like, if this is the bathroom area, I see this, this whole thing, again, as the bathroom, you probably have something, a mirror here, maybe. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, maybe kind of like a vanity area yeah. here. So you know, I'm, I'm starting to, yeah. I, I don't know, but it could be. Right, yeah. Because again, you don't have any pictures, more than likely. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. that sucks, dude. Yeah. And then, this was the case. Yeah. Um, right. Mm -hmm. You know, back, back in the 1800s, a lot of the cooking was built. The cooking was done in the basement. Yeah. And they brought the food here. We're going to go downstairs, okay? There you go. What I'm going to do. See, look, he's going to do this because I stood up and he's going. All right, Thomas, step back a second. I got the GS2. Oh, I got it all, buddy. Yeah, you're getting a feeling like you're about to get pushed off, man. Yeah, just some standing back from it. <laughs> We're going downstairs. Here we go. Whoa. Watch the camera, watch the camera. Stay to you. Yeah, there Here you go. go. Look at that. Let's get another look at it. Dude, look at it. I'm going. Here we go. <laughs> we gotta go through that doorway where the doll is, man. Look at the light up. Is, is it lighting up even more? Oh, it's fully lit right now. Here we go. We're going. No. Yeah, go to that room where you guys are at and go left. Dude, that thing is almost full.
Doll still standing. Um, she's moved. As I was saying, she look, moved. Look, her legs are not flat.
something crash, something move. Did you say crash? Yeah, earlier when we were talking outside. No, that came from when that fell. Oh, it did. Oh, it yeah, did. it came when it fell, because that raccoon went flying. The camera's still sitting on the chair. Dude, <gasps> look at the GS2. Damn, it's full. Look at the GS2. Turn off the. Smelling smoke. No, that was my smoke, my smokes. This investigation at the Octagon House is, um, I gotta say, one of my uh, favorites. Um, you know, I've been doing it for several years now, um, and I, you know, every investigation, we learn new things. We learn, you know, new techniques to do an investigation. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite ones. And I want to give a shout out to my, my, my all my team members um, who has joined. Um, me this year and a brand new team with a brand new name you know i've learned a lot from each each one of you uh and i hope you've learned a lot from me um it's every every investigator does things differently does things in their own unique way and this investigation was a test theory it is a test theory to see what kind of evidence we can get from multiple uh, different investigators that does things differently. Um, and as you've seen, you know, we, we had caught some truly amazing evidence out of this building here. This building is close to my heart. It truly is. I uh, got involved in early part of this year uh, in lines to help save and preserve it uh, and bring it back to its original glory. Um, and, you know, conducting flashlight tours, private investigations and so on and so on. And at the very beginning of this video, you've seen um, a small glimpse of somebody's cell phone. Well, that was during flashlight tours. Believe it or not, it was during flashlight tours. And, um, you know, as an investigator, you know, I, I don't like to tag every single detail in my videos because I like for people to use their own opinion and their own judgments as they're going through it, uh, adjusting the audios, you know, bringing them up so you guys can physically hear it. Because as I'm doing the edits, I'm, I'm actually listening through headphones. Um, and and it, it's clear to me on headphones. Um, but trying to get it in a video, you know, sometimes can be difficult. And a lot of, a lot of individuals that does edits can tell you that. Uh, when they make these videos and they do these things, um, you know, it, it does multiple things. Um, you know, it, it makes it tougher. So, shout out to my team. Thank you so much. You know, we're still growing. Uh, we have new members joining us uh, throughout, you know, this season. It's, you know, this season one. Um, this is only episode one. Uh, you know, with my work schedule and being here, uh, conducting flashlight tours, taking care of the property, getting a mode, make it look clean, fresh. Um, you know, different properties. Um, Got to keep it clean. Got to, you know, um, I feel that this, this building deserves a lot more. It's been sitting here for you know, what, 18 years, give or take, plus or minus, uh, closed up, nothing's been going on. And, you know, I just wanted to step in and try to do my part and try to be able to give back to the community. Um, and, and this is my way to doing that. Um, so I wanna give a shout out also to um, some of the most amazing professionals out there um, that I've met this year um, that has consulted with me on um, different different things when it comes to the paranormal. Um, rather say how you do your filming, how do you do your actual investigations. 
um, the whole nine yards. Um, uh, so shout out to Kalani Smith, Kalani Ghost Hunter. You can find him on TikTok. Um, huge on TikTok. Starting to grow with YouTube. Um, and and the other social media platforms. CJ Fazing, Chris Bird. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for everything. Chris Williams from Ghost Hunters, Ghost Hunters International. Um, truly amazing individual as well. Um, and then the resident undead, the whole entire team, the resident undead. Uh, shout out to each and every single one of you guys. Uh, Mr. Adam Kimball himself, dude, thank you for everything this year. You know, we worked together on a massive project at Fairfield County Infirmary just in time for your big event, FCI Con 2 this year, uh, which was amazing. All three of your events were amazing this year. Um, what you did at MacCon 5 for cystic fibrosis, dude, that hit me hard. And um, very, very deep. And on a personal note, we're gonna start doing those events here, right here at the Octagon House. Um, working on getting stuff together for that event um, in lines to help raise money for the for for you know the Octagon House as well as a very personal um, situation. Um, a cause, you know. Um, I've lost a lot of family members very close to me um, from brain cancer. I've got another individual battling breast cancer. Um, several other individuals out there that I know personally. Um, who's also been battling it. So I want to help find a cure for cancer. And I think if we do this event, get this up off the ground, as a matter of fact, I don't think I know we can do it uh, and we can raise money for this house and to help find Kurt. Um, shout out to the owners of Greenville Manor 1881. Find them on Facebook. Truly amazing location uh, in Greenville, Pennsylvania. Marcus and Katie, guys, thank you so much. Um, you know, it means so much to me. Uh, if you guys haven't done it already, click on that subscribe button for me. Um, please. It, it's going to help us gather more entertainment for all of you guys. That's what we're here for. Um, in conclusion, I want to thank, like I said, everybody. I appreciate it all. Um, be looking for uh, our next episode, which was a truly amazing um, location that we did an investigation at. Um, the Madison Seminary um, and shout out to Mike Bloomfield the guy that got me started you know several years ago that that's taught me some things that I, I deeply appreciate and, and just completely appreciate everything from you Mike thank you so much with that note be looking for episode 2 coming very soon um, I've got to get the building locked up um, but I hope to see y'all soon. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the page. Give me some love. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful year in 2022. Thank you so much. See you soon.